Hi everyone, welcome to yet another dashboard tutorial uh, presented by Kodani Makatu, Northwest DDD Provincial Manager. This week we are going to take a shot at uh, the results analysis template that I received from one of the districts to see if we can actually populate this template using data from the dashboard. Um, now, just the breakdown of this report or this template, uh, this is actually required by districts um, on a quarterly basis and schools are required to populate this information. So, so first of all, results without SPA. So in dashboard terms, this is exam and test results. Uh, this would be the subjects offered in the school, the number of learners that are enrolled for each subject, number of learners enrolled, breakdown of levels, and at the far right, past percentage as well as average percentage. Second part would be progress without SBA. So this is performance for progress learners. We currently don't have this information, unfortunately, on the dashboard. However, we do have um, results analysis with SBA. So this would be in dashboard terms again, report marks. So I'm going to see if we can actually populate this report using data from the dashboard. I'll quickly navigate to the dashboard and um, I've chosen Nyakamudiru Mulema uh, because they are actually the top performing district in the province. And um, I've selected Nyakam, uh, Ramosir Muila because they have all their schools loaded on the dashboard for, for term four. Um, I've shifted from summary to reports uh, because that's where we can download um, such reports or mark analysis report. And uh, I will scroll down to learner achievements and under learner achievements I'll click on subject performance report. Now I want to pull this information for FET phase because I specifically want to look at grade 11 and uh, it's going to bring up that Excel report quickly and I'll enable the spreadsheet. So the first worksheet that you'll see immediately when the report uh, finishes download um, is going to be a summary page and then you will see the different grades in FET phase at the bottom there. So I will navigate to grade 11 and this is how the grade 11 report looks. The first row, please notice the first, the very first row appears to be blank. So I'm going to actually clean that out and I'll delete it and um, the second thing I'm going to do is I already know that this is Ramatu High School so there's certain information that I don't need like the district information and EMIS codes I do need the grade and also the subjects as well and this number of tasks completed for the year to date and um, this would be term 1 to term 4 and the number of tasks that were written each term for each subject and the percentage there would be your task coverage for each of these subjects. I actually don't need this information and um, now I'll focus on on my results analysis and what I want to look at now is what is this information. I can see there's a lot of marks there but what is that? So the report tells me that the pink uh, breakdowns is actually um, learners exam and test marks right I'm looking for le learners exam and test mark which would be in my report without SBA so I will look at term 4 data because that is a summary for the whole year and I will delete the rest of this information and again I will look for all learners report marks so this is with SBA according to dashboard language and I will delete term 1 to term 3 and the purple so I've got my information there um, I've got subject performance uh, this is exam and test and this is report marks and uh, this is a 
the number of learners that enrolled, number of learners enrolled, breakdown of uh, uh, performance, and then percentage pass and percentage average. Um, I've got that for with SBA and the pink is without SBA. So this is your common assessments and these are essentially your SBA that uh, marks that appear on the learners reports and this these are the subjects that are offered in the school. Uh, what I would like us to do is um, to try and correlate some of this data with the data that we reported um, to the districts for, for term four so that uh, we can see if there's any correlation between the data and if there are any disparities please make sure that you send me an email at kodani um, at newleaders.co.za I'm going to repeat that kodani at newleaders.co.za when you send me that email please send an attachment of uh, the spreadsheet that you use to to report to the district as well as your your school's database as well so that I can have a closer look at those disparities um, but in terms of um, us populating this report I think the information is there and uh, through a couple of iterations I think we can get it closer and closer to how it looks um, on on SA SAMS um, I think this is going to be all for today and um, I think next time uh, there are a couple of reports that I still want us to look at uh, the newly developed reports in the dashboard uh, the subject mark schedule as well as the grade 12 NSC performance until then um, happy dashboarding and uh, happy reporting